And now, the top 10 herbs for pain relief. Number 10, Feverfew. Feverfew has been used for centuries for headaches, stomach aches, and toothaches. And more recently, it's even been used for rheumatoid arthritis and migraines. The American Migraine Foundation says that Feverfew is likely helpful at preventing migraines, but so far there are mixed results on its effectiveness. While Feverfew isn't linked to many side effects, it has occasionally been known to cause abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, canker sores, and increased risk of bleeding. So as always, it's important to talk to your doctor before trying any new herb. Number 9. Peppermint Various research suggests that peppermint can help with headaches. One of the main methods for this is applying diluted peppermint oil directly to your forehead or temples to help relieve tension headaches. As it is also an antispasmodic, peppermint can also help relieve digestive pain cramping, and according to a 2015 review, it can help with painful spasms associated with arthritis. For a more detailed breakdown, you can watch my video all about the health benefits of peppermint, and there's quite a few. Number 8, Boswellia. Boswellia. Sounds like the name for a new TV series about aliens, but don't let the name fool you. This is actually the plant that produces Indian frankincense. The same frankincense that would have been gifted by one of the wise men at the birth of Jesus. According to a study on rats, Boswellia gum resin showed analgesic effects similar to morphine. One 2003 study found that all 30 people with osteoarthritis knee pain who received Boswellia reported a decrease in knee pain. They even reported an increase in knee flexibility and how far they could walk. Boswellia may decrease the effects of your anti-inflammatory medication, so please consult with a physician if you're taking any anti-inflammatory medication and want to try Boswellia. Number 7. Bromelain Bromelain is a type of enzyme that is actually extracted from pineapple stems. Bromelain may benefit people with arthritis and musculoskeletal conditions like TMJ syndrome. A review of several studies found that bromelain is an effective treatment for soft tissue swelling and joint stiffness associated with osteoarthritis. Bromelain can cause sensitivity in people who are allergic to bee stings, olive tree pollen, and grass pollen. So if you have problems with these, bromelain likely isn't for you. Number 6. Cloves a 2006 study found clove gel to be as effective as benzocaine gel which is a topical gel that dentists often use to reduce needle pain. Cloves are actually one of the first herbs I ever used for pain, and I actually found just how effective it is at reducing toothache pain. And you can do this with whole cloves or just a small amount of diluted clove oil. While more research is needed, it is also believed that cloves can help with arthritis and headaches. As with many pain relievers, people with bleeding disorders or taking blood thinning medications should be careful when taking clove products. Hey, since you're still hanging around, why don't you go and hit that like button for me? And if you're really enjoying yourself, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Number 5. Devil's Claw it may be named after Big Bad Beelzebub, but Devil's Claw has traditionally been prescribed for, well, basically any pain that throbs. One study found that Devil's Claw had a significant effect on pain reduction with more than 60% of patients seeing a positive impact. It also suggested effective long-term pain relief use and improvement for those with chronic back pain. Devil's Claw Extract has been shown to reduce osteoarthritic hip or knee pain by 25% and improve mobility within a few weeks. Studies also show that it can help with rheumatoid arthritis as well. Devil's Claw Extract is considered safe at the typical dosage of 750 milligrams taken three times a day. But again, it shouldn't be taken with blood thinning medications, and it might not be safe during pregnancy for young children, nursing mothers or people with liver or kidney disease, gallstones or digestive system ulcers. Number 4. Willow Bark now you could easily make a case for willow bark being number one on this list, as white willow contains the chemical salicin. And when scientists discovered this in willow bark, it actually led to the creation of one of our most popular modern pain relievers, aspirin. 
Back in the old days, people just grabbed a hunk of willow bark and chewed on it to relieve pain and fever. Nowadays, willow bark is commonly found in pill, powder, or even tea. One study found willow bark to be as effective as conventional medicine in lessening pain among people with mild to fairly severe knee and hip problems. White willow bark is also regularly used for sports performance injuries, lower back pain, headaches, joint pain, and osteoarthritis. Willow bark does come with its own risk of side effects. It can cause stomach upset, affect kidney function, and increase the risk of bleeding, which of course is just like aspirin. But again, this is mostly if you have an allergy to it or don't stick to the recommended daily allowance. So just proceed with caution, as I know you will. Number 3. Capsaicin Perhaps the funniest, or oddest, entry on this list, capsaicin is a natural pain reliever that is also responsible for the heat in hot chili peppers. That makes no sense. Let me explain how it works. It's believed that capsaicin reduces the skin sensitivity to pain by numbing your nociceptor fibers, which are the nerves that carry pain signals. Commercial capsaicin containing creams containing 0.025% capsaicin can significantly reduce osteoarthritic pain, and a higher concentration of 0.075% works best for peripheral nerve pain like diabetic nerve damage, HIV pain, and pain following cancer surgery. Now it's best to remember that this is the same stuff that can make chili peppers smart. So you need to be using it correctly when applying topically. And don't touch your eyes. Number 2. Ginger Multiple studies have now found that ginger can be as effective as other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen and aspirin. One study found that ginger reduced pain and stiffness in knee joints by 40% over a placebo. A 2015 review found that taking 2 grams of ginger per day modestly reduced muscle pain from resistance exercise and running when people took it for at least 5 days. Another study found that taking 2 grams of ginger supplement daily eased muscle soreness by 25% over 11 days. There is also evidence to suggest that ginger may offer some relief from pain caused by fibromyalgia. While it is very safe within recommended guidelines, excess use has been known to cause mild heartburn, diarrhea, and stomach discomfort. Some women have also reported extra menstrual bleeding from taking too much ginger. Honorable mentions! The American Pain Foundation also lists these herbs for pain management. Ginseng, Kava Kava, St. John's Wort, and Valerian Root. Some other strong anti-inflammatory and mild pain relieving herbs include Comfrey, Corydalis, Cinnamon, Holy Basil, Rose Hip, Cat's Claw, Eucomia, Mother Wart, Eucalyptus Oil, and Arnica. And now, the number one herb for pain relief! Turmeric, or more specifically, curcumin, the active main ingredient in turmeric, which is a monster anti-inflammatory and pain reliever. A 2014 study found that curcumin extract is as effective as ibuprofen for pain management in the treatment of knee osteoarthritis over four weeks. Researchers in Italy found osteoarthritis patients taking turmeric supplement experienced a 58% drop in pain and stiffness, and even reduced their reliance on traditional drugs. However, one study found that turmeric was more effective at joint inflammation prevention rather than reducing the joint pain itself. Still, very helpful when dealing with pain. In fact, curcumin matches or outperforms ibuprofen, acetaminophen, and other over-the-counter painkillers without side effects. Turmeric root contains just 2% to 5% curcumin. So when reaching for a supplement, be sure you're actually buying curcumin, not powdered turmeric root, for maximum pain relief. You'll also want to choose high-potency curcumin and combine it with a carrier oil as curcumin is not easily absorbed into the digestive tract. While herbs aren't the only way to manage pain, especially chronic pain, they certainly can help with pain trouble and make your life just a little bit easier. And that is the top 10 herbs for pain relief. Do you agree with my list? Is there anything else you think should have been included? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, then please watch the top 10 herbs for sleep next, or the top 10 herbs for anxiety next. Please, be kind. Take care of each other. And if you're dealing with pain, I really do hope that some of the herbs on this list can make your life
just a little bit more pain-free.